Why, hello, everybody. We're back with some Doki Doki Literature Club. Last time... Oh. We can use a skip button. Last time we can use a skip button. I believe... We were just about to read poems with everyone for the third time. I think that's right. And we were trying to impress Yuri. So let's just dive right back in and talk to Yuri first. Yuri says, Snake. Which just stopped playing some Metal Gear 5, so this is going to take me a little getting used to. Yuri says, Your writing has only improved in these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't, I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. I say, Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me. You all forced it on me super hard, actually. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. She says, is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. Never thought it would feel like this. I say, I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe you're so good at something and you've never sh even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. She says, maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice, even though she totally did. I say, what do you mean? Well, she says. She smiles sadly. Oh. Music change. She says, snake, during lunchtime I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. No way. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's what, one way to put it, anyway. But, books are so f <laughs> books, are, books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or people you just know would make a really good friend. I need to be able to talk good. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day. You know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing it out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. Tall and busty, according to Natsuki. And, and they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. I say, people say that about you? She says, I'm not a know-it-all snake. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. Don't even know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings, and all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you. That I really understood what I was missing all this time. I say, but I haven't really done anything. She says, no, that's wrong. Just being patient and respectful... That's really important to me. I know I'm a, different, a difficult person, Snake. I speak too slowly. I second-guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see, says me. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them! Hey! That's actually more like what I would say. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. That's not why I joined this club, but, y you know, sure. And I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? She says, um, if you put it that way. Yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Only friends allow others to put chocolate into their mouths. Yuri puts her head in her hands. But this time, she's smiling as she does it. I say, do you want to show me your poem? She says, yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. Here we go. Ghost Under the Light Part 2. I still wish there was an easier way to read this. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. In the distance, a blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds. The silhouette grows. Closer, closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility. 
but I am too late. He steps into the streetlight. I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers. My heart pounds. He raises his arm. Time stops. The only indication... That was a weird noise. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart, teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand. The flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. Well, that was nice. I was much happier than normal. Finishing the poem, I start to hand I start to hand it back to Yuri. Oh, that's not the right button. There we go. But instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Do you dislike it? She asks. I say, ah, no, of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poems usually being cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. She says, I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. And I say, that's fine. I understand this one. Yuri's having an even harder time speaking than usual. I s ask, does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. I'm not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me. So thank you. And I hope we keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge on Yuri's lips. I once again try to hand the poem back to her. But instead, Yuri gently takes my hands and pushes them back toward me. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. She says, you can. Um, the poem is... Once again, Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. I say, you mean I can keep it? She nods. I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles as if she doesn't want me to notice. She says, you always... You always make me feel nice. She continues, yeah, I know I'm not good with people, but... I hope that I can return the favor sometimes. I say, yeah. Don't worry. I think you do a good job. Yuri finally turns back toward me. She says, I guess we, we should move on before Monica says something again. But I'm sure we can talk again later. Yeah, I say. I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me, and I return to my seat so I can put her poem away. Ah, oh, that went pretty well. So um, I'm going to... I was thinking about this today. I'm wondering if... I know there are multiple endings. I'm wondering if the correct true path involves making sure during the poem process uh well there's i guess it's an even number not odd but you know how you have to select a word that makes one of them happy i'm kind of thinking that you have to get everyone a cer above a certain threshold to to make everyone happy it's not that i it's not that you need to f have more for one like guri and then suddenly she's the happiest and then you have better interactions with her it's maybe that everyone passes a threshold and then they are happier. But that's that's just a guess. Anyway, we're gonna continue down the list to Sayori. Hmm, she says. It's nice, I guess. I say, come on, I can already tell you don't like it. She says, well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Oh no. Eh, I say. I didn't write this for anyone specifically. I'm a liar, though. She says, maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? I say, well, of course I am. She says, good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Snake. I say, Sayori. Is there something wrong? She says, huh? No, nothing. Nothing at all. I'm just a little tired today. She laughs. Nervously. Clearly very nervously. I say, alright. Just tell me if you need anything. She says, I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. What about your poem? I say, if you insist. She says, yay. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. I say, Sayori. She continues, tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, she cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Wow, we didn't get a poem from her. Alright. Well, that keeps that short. She says, Natsuki, this one's alright. I say, alright? She says, well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. 
I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad you're trying a little bit. I say, well, of course I'm at least trying. Why, why are you so emotionally invested in my poems, anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? She says, eh? No, gross. Baka. It's not like I care. It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. I say, really? Well, what if you ended up j just scaring me away? She says, that's, um... It's not like you would actually do that. I say, yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. <laughs> Oh, and I make a gun noise. Oh, man, she elbowed me in the stomach. My god. Oh, she says. Maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I say I was just joking. Oh, I know, she says. Don't worry, I was too. That that gut elbow was just a joke. She laughs. How the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. I'm a wimp, apparently. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. She says, anyway. She holds her palm out to me like nothing even happened. Oh, that would have... That's an abusive relationship right there. So, Natsuki's poem is, I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. That's a weird one. Uh, I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way that you, uh, in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you shine. Let's leave, leave your memories in a footprint trail, set you free in my windy sail, and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me be, if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Oh, I was also pretty positive today. She says, yeah. It felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. That's, yeah, you did a good job. Besides, the beach is awesome. Also true. Depending on the climate. Kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. I say, so you decided to write about the beach first and then came up with a message later? She says, yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing. She wanted to pick a topic and have us both write about it, or whatever. I said, I see. Something tells me the poem Yuri showed me isn't the one she plans on sharing with everyone else. Oh. Of course, I choose not to mention that to Natsuki. That's definitely confirmation that interacting with other people... People in different orders does show different text. That's... I like that. That's cool. She says, ugh. You can really see her doing that, too. Making us write about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of me metaphorical, too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Down to Monica. Hi, Snake, says Monica. Have you thought about what you wanted to submit to perform at the festival? Well, I say, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people. I say, I'll have to give it some more thought. She says, okay, no pressure. No pressure. Jeez. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. She laughs. Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. I say, sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Interesting, I, I think Monica's the only one who doesn't immediately see my poem. Everyone else just has it, and then we talk about it. But she talks to me before we look at the poems, which is kind of neat. Your style is getting so refined, Snake, she says. Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? I say, well, I guess so. Yeah, I've been noticing how much time you spend with her. I think I've heard her say more words these past couple days than she's talked in a whole year. Not sure how you did it. Well, that's pretty impressive. 
Well, I say, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. Also chocolate. I'm still getting the hang of it myself. Hmm, she says. You're certainly putting in a lot of putting in a lot of effort. You must really like her. I say, eh? That's she just laughs at me. It's awfully suspicious, you know. The chocolate thing. Spending time with her in the club room every day. Reading that edgy novel with her? What? Well, I say, I just feel bad that she's ha has a hard time socializing. It makes me want it makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all her time alone. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know. She says, "All right, all right. I get you. Just be careful, all right? I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up. So if something bad happens when, while she's vulnerable, then it could be really hard for her. Her books aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a bandage." I say, you say that like I'm going to hurt her. She says, sorry, I didn't really mean that. If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, all right? I say, all right. All right, the lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders the earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost, ad uh, lost adrift the sky, a victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day, I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Twi I don't know what that word is. I want to say twilight, or twilight? Uh, we'll, we'll assume it's twilight, because that makes sense. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall. And I fall and fall and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Hey, Hammerite. Hey, I'm... I'm doing my best. I'm not used to this kind of thing. But thanks. So let's see. Monica says, you know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was the kind it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I say, I see. Never really put much thought into it. She continues, in a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? I say, you know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Monica says Monica laughs and says, Are you surprised? I mean if everything was okay. We wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. I say, you mean one-dimensional? Ah, uh, yeah, that, she says. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Let's see if this is another wall breaker. Monica says, are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own literature <laughs> own little literature club, don't you think? And she finishes, that's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Beginning to wonder, is she saying that to the character, or is she saying that to us? Anyway, she says, Okay, you three, we're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? And Natsuki interrupts her. Hold on a second. Also, cat. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? She says, Monica says, Eh? Yuri says, Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Well, that's because Sayori... Oh god, cat. Please. 
Yuri says, Monica says, catchphrase, c -c catchphrase. I don't have a catchphrase. Natsuki says, geez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Yuri says, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. I say, in your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Soyori isn't here. Ah, says Yuri. It seems you're right. Monica sighs. Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost as if... It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. And Frosty, I'm trying here. I mean, I, I don't think I've ever claimed to be an actor. But, uh, Hammerite, we're going with Yuri. We're trying to do the Yuri path, as far as I can tell. Natsuki continues. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought, she's, I thought she just went to pee. Yuri says, Natsuki, please so, show some decency. She says, oh, come on. I say, ah, she was actually... She actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Yuri says, is that so? I hope she's all right. Natsuki says, seriously? Of all attempts to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. I said, ah, no. First of all, stop mis misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I don't want to force it. Yuri says, ho? Which is a little weird. I say that curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Monica says, calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. I say, what did she say? Monica continues, anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. Natsuki says, I already know what I'm doing. Monica says, that's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. Oh, I guess that's her thing. Monica continues, but we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? She says, challenge accepted. Monica says, and as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. That's actually a lot of work. Uh, Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh, Natsuki's puzzled. Monica says, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? Yuri says, I... I'm useless. <laughs> Monica says, no! That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Now Natsuki's pouting, <laughs> too. I say, geez, even I, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori, Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Monica says, ah, that might be the case. But if, but if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. So you should make some banana... Bananas? Yes. So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere, she says. I'm about that. I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as her, she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. I say, your mind is already racing, I see. Monica says, that's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Snake. I say, the one who is truly useless. She laughs. Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Ah, I say. That's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with only with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Yuri says, ah, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Natsuki says, well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Yuri says, um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Oh, she's fighting for me. Snake may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Natsuki says, hold on, I never said that. <laughs> How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Snake, too. And she's... <laughs> Eerie cuts her off. What are you saying? 
It will be extremely meticulous work. Natsuki says, and baking isn't? Just what do you think? And Monica interrupts. Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Snake to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... <laughs> Natsuki cuts her off. You literally just said... Yuri cuts her off. I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry, says Monica. I was just saying, though. Jeez, says Natsuki. Can we just settle this already? Yeah, says Monica. Snake, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah, I say. Of course. Natsuki grumbles. Yuri says, very well. Monica says, in that case, everyone looks straight at me. But of course, I'm going to go with... Ah, uh, I was hoping they would give me Sayori as a choice. So Sayori's clearly having some trouble. Out of the people here, I feel like Natsuki is a no. Yuri is the obvious choice if we want to continue on her path. Monica seems like she's a bit flustered and could probably use the help, but she's supposed to be working with Sayori. I'm gonna make a save here. These are probably gonna need it anyway. So technically, they should be together, but then Monica kind of changed her her story midway through and said that she would like help as well. <sighs> Decision. Because how would I actually help? So this is looking too deeply into their actual choices, like to their actual work. I couldn't help Yuri. I don't have really good handwriting. I could probably help Natsuki. It's just baking. Unless my character is fucking inept, it's just baking. And I don't actually know what Monica needs help with. Do I try to help? Because Sayori seems really down. Hmm. Actually, Frosty, I disagree. This might be a puzzle game. The re Well, without looking it up, the routes, routes and visual novels are usually hard to figure out anyway. I might as well just keep trying to go with Yuri, because I know the first ending's not going to be very good, but I wouldn't mind trying to help Sayori. Fuck. Hmm. That's between those two. I keep going for Yuri with all the words, but I already went Sayori once out as an actual choice for something. I went home with Sayori once over Yuri. So I don't want to accidentally go onto her path. I'm going to go with Yuri. I say, 